Everything's good. I can't remember what I was doing last time when we were here. Do you remember? I didn't like it a whole lot. Where is my microphone? I mean, my headset volume. There we go. Oh yeah, and because I don't have my contacts, I'm going to be ultra close to the screen to read these. Lake Allen Park closed its gates. A jeering throng of town folk gathered as me, as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small-minded fools scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I have retreated here to the House of Horrors. I must think. You know, sometimes when I just want to get away and think about things, I go into a fucking house of horrors. Ugh. This is not a very good flashlight. Hello? Spooks? Yep, there's spooks. I think I went through this part last time. I did. So, I guess it's just gonna make me go through it again. What's up, werewolf? This is like jump scare alley. Hi. Oh, your vision is freaking out for some reason. I guess that's you having a panic attack. What's up, big guy? All right, calm down, girl. Clearly losing your shit. Sometimes you have to wonder, though, is it worth going back to get your son to go through all this? Oh, hey. You're still wearing those really ugly pants. All the way up to your armpits. Good for you, I think. Oh, I just remembered. I think we have to go into the basement. Great. things I hate doing in horror games. It's water and basements. Sometimes they go together like in Silent Hill Homecoming which was a god awful game. This isn't a very effective house of horrors. I'm just saying. I see you. Oh, okay. You kind of got me that time. I'll eat my foot on that one. I don't know why I decided to look at that mirror. That's a terrible idea. Ugh. Hey, buddy. The hell are you? If I got any notes or anything to read before I go into this horrible place. Guess not. Oh. All right. I don't want to, but guess I don't have a choice. God, I hate this. Locked. Is there a whale down here with me?
Wait, this ain't a basement. What the hell is this? Nightmare Circus. Cute. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Must read line perfectly. Uh, wow, this sucks. Okay. Don't care. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Sounds like some lyrics to a Linkin Park song. The last part, at least. I really hope to God this game does not have a clown. Is that another one? Or is it the same one? The Wilting. I ain't reading all that. I want to examine everything in this spooky room. Is that the refresh logo? Okay. Could also be Clementine's hat. Yeah, I remember these things. I remember being way too stupid to ever figure them out. Oh, that's nice. He thinks hearts have faces. Man, my kid's dumb. Callum, are these your cigarettes? What have we talked about? Radio? What's going on with that radio? Nothing? Okay. Oh, fuck everything about this. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fun sticks. Remember, drop off Callum Electricity Bill, fix faucet. So this is my kitchen? Hi, <laughs> right, thank welcome to the stream. <laughs> of course I'm back. I've been back. I don't this is apparently a part of my house because my shopping list is there and my retarded kids drawings are on the wall how this got to be part of a spook house I'm not too positive but that would have been a good scare there should have been like some human limbs or something in here what the hell is that okay Locked. Most popular trope in horror games. Uh, fuck this. Yep. Actually, were you the one that was calling me that last time during the uh, Alien Isolation stream? If so, it's been a while since I've seen you. Alright. Don't have my contacts in. Got to scoot up to the screen to read this. Lorraine, 
I received your letter and I am quite surprised. You ran off with your father all of those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map, and then when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters. And now you write me asking for help. I have another family now, and another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you, I truly did. But every year you grew more and more like him, you were his girl, never really mine. Still would have fought for custody if you hadn't ran away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking, well, picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it'll be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I'm not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again. Karen. Cunt. Oh yeah, that, that was a while back, yeah. Yeah, I still do it every Saturday and during the CGN event we've been doing scary games. A bunch of streamers have gotten together and have done some. Shut up, Nightbot. You're confusing me. Is that another ugly painting? That's, I guess that's me and my son aboard the SS Titanic. That was a happy ending. What is this one? I want to read it. Miss Mailer. Is she a duck? As we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is official notification that you are considered sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please note that you should discontinue any medication that you have been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time that you are suffering any reps, then please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish you continued good health, Dr. Spencer. Yeah, I, I knew a while back she was crazy. No, no, what I meant was I have my regular stream day of Saturday and we've been doing 31 days of live streams for CGN and we have a different horror game every day like 18 of us are doing it oh this is where Sadako climbs out of the TV and kills me I think I have to wait seven days for that first though oh look at this fucking butt plug That's a really impractical way to sit. Miss Mallard, our inquiry into the estate of Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary beneficiaries of his estate, including life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State. The deceased parents, our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regards to the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, there were no they were not receptive to our overtures, and they said that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies. That's not really a word you would expect to see written in a formal document. Monies? Anyway, to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. They've asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may be a negative impact on your current financial situation, and I hope that I am not being too forward when I enclose the bill for our service with this letter. Sincerely, Edward Stapleton, Attorney. You're a little bit late on the dime there, Nightbot. I've already told him about it. Some of those guys should be in here pretty soon. Oh, fuck you. Wait a minute. This is the hallway I was just in, wasn't it? That's... strange. I don't want to go in there. Good.
Um, hello? Huh? Oh, there's the door. What we got here? Oh, those are my crazy pills. Or they could be Callum's. Is this gonna be the same letter or is there a different one? Uh, Lorraine, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know I want to try and explain it. I think it's because I am so far from home and I am working so hard every day working at the park. It gets worse like a spring mach spring inside my mind whining tighter and tighter and tighter. It would be super helpful if I wasn't A blind and B this text wasn't so small. When we go for drinks after work it gets a little better. The guys relax and we laugh and we're we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. But when this job is done we need to get out of this place. We need to go back to the city where I don't feel like this anymore. I love you. Donald. P.S. I was thinking about names for ba boys and girls. I like Callum for a boy and Emma for a girl. Well, you're kind of a deadbeat dad, so I don't really give a shit what you. Th what is this? Oh, nothing. I hear noises. What are you? A shocking true story. Hunger. Oh, it's like if the Donner Party were gingerbread men instead of people. I ain't reading all that. That's so not a pleasant noise. Sounds like Godzilla trying to take a shit. What? What is it? Okay, yeah, I didn't see that before. Alright, there's my pill bottle again. Have you played any good scary games lately, chat? Preferably ones without Godzilla having diarrhea. Yeah, I saw that already. He's terrible. Is it supposed to be flies? Oh shit. Okay. I think I've already seen that too. Oh, there's add, add a step to it now. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Zoloft prescription. Remember, take the pills, follow up with Dr. Spencer, or arrange babysitter for Callum. Yeah, you better not open up. Okay, so we're evidently doing with an impossible space here. Hang on, I'll read it in a minute. Damn it, I'm getting shades of PT all over again. What'd you say in the chat room? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I feel you there. Have you played this yet? Now, are these all gonna be locked still? Yeah. 
so it's just a looping. Whoo! Well, okay. Uh, did something upset you? There is no sound whatsoever now. Jump scare coming. See if the shopping list changed again. <laughs> I guess it. Milk, Zoloft prescription. Cheese, Zoloft prescription. Bread, Zoloft prescription. Butter, Zoloft prescription. Corn, Zoloft prescription. Potatoes, Zoloft prescription. Apples, Zoloft prescription. Fish sticks, Zoloft. Nope, not on there that time. Remember, more pills, tickets to Atlantic Island Park. There's literally pill bottles just um, all over the place. And apparently, uh, one of the guys in the... Oh! <laughs> I love scary games, but I, I feel you. Uh. Oh, that's new. It's telling a lot here. There's more pills being added, and there's... There's more pills being added each time I go through. So we already know that she's clearly got some depression or anxiety issues. And now if you look at this fridge, there's no longer any food here. It's just three wine bottles. So that's not a good sign to her history. I don't like that door being right there. Yep, pill bottles and wine, so she was mixing them. I don't like that TV. Something's going to happen with that TV. That chair was up earlier. Is that blood? Okay, here's another one. Lorraine, I received your letter, and I'm quite surprised you ran off with your father all of those years ago. Then disappeared off the edge of the map, and then when I finally tracked... Okay, it's crossed off, and it says in her handwriting, I didn't run away, Dad took me. So, and he goes back to saying, When I finally tracked, blah, 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 refused to answer any of my letters, and, illegible, I have another family now, and another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years that I wasted with him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for it. Okay, this is the same letter, except Lorraine has answered it. And she's also smoked a cigarette. Which tells me I'm probably going to need one pretty soon. That's the guy I saw going dancing into the cellar, so that's not good. Like you imitating ducks. Whoa, okay, fuck all this. Ah, uh, more pill bottles. Apparently, me and my son turned into cat people.
Yep, read that. Oh, there's more stuff. This is new. That must be Donald. I was quite a pretty girl when I was younger. My true best friends, Don and Laura. Oh, that wasn't me. What is this? Oh, that's the hat. Now the hat's got blood on it. Great. My son's dead. Can I leave? Alright, what's this shopping list going to say this time? Remember, you are alone. Nobody loves you. Callum is no longer what he wants. He wants... Moz? Oh, once was. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. A nice pick. Uh, in the very beginning of this story, we found out that the guy dressed up as a squirrel when the park was open went crazy and stabbed a guy to death with an ice pick. Well, it sure is fucking dark in there. Duh! What's happening? What's happening? Where's my flashlight? Huh? Okay. So why did this open if... Okay. Whatever. Oh my god, there's a doll in there. What is that banging? There's a baby's head in there. And yet more pill bottles. Courtney Love would love this place. Oh! Okay. Fuck you. Drinking? That's what's up. Oh, okay, this is a new one. Miss Mallard, as we agreed in that meeting today, we consider you to be batshit fucking insane. <laughs> Let's be clear, you are no way of sound and, sound and mind and body, and you're endangered to everyone around you. Please note that your only escape from this world should be drugs. This isn't real. A shitload of them. <laughs> Smoking, snorting, oral, intravenous. Take them any way you can, as often as you can. That shit can only make your life better. <laughs> and in case there was any doubt, you are suffering a relapse. And nobody really cares. Nobody can help you now. Don't fuck this up. Dr. Spock? <laughs> oh god, that's amazing. Also, note that the top of it says Dunwich Emergency Services. There is a HP Lovecraft short story called The Dunwich Horror. So, kudos on that reference. What horrible thing's gonna happen now? Thank you, William 
the new watch uh, he made. Okay, something about carrots. Yep. That's fine. I just heard a door close. <sighs> Why am I playing this game? The book's gone. No, it's not. Is that leaf see-through? Why is it totally black in here? Something's about to happen. That fire's getting bigger. And now it's raining. Don, Dad, C2, not him. Why is everything flooding? Ooh, I hate all this. History of Solomon Island. He's getting more and more scratched off. Okay, music totally stopped. I don't like that. I'm hoping these all stay locked. Jump scare incoming. Okay, this is new. This is a library. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time, before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? I can't tell if this is more scary or depressing. Yeah, it's got a huge PT feel. I'm with you there. I like it. But man, nothing can possibly go wrong in this creepy building. Library, on top of that. This is showing another thing that I always tell people that I love in horror movies and games. Any song before 1950 can sound extremely creepy when you put it into a scary atmosphere. Bioshock that it would be on the sea. Maybe not even that old because the movie Story of Echoes did it with uh, Painted Black. And I'm pretty sure that came out in the 60s. Okay, what we got? Kids broke in today. It has been so long since I heard laughter. So very long. I took one of them. Couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh. This boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, whimming in time to his gasp and shrieks. Think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by the machine is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Okay. Sure. Um. 
That's awful. Yeah. Some of the Final Destination movies did it too. And I'm pretty sure they did it with Don't Fear the Reaper. That thing especially always gives me chills when I see it in a game. There's just something really, really creepy about ancient old stuff and old technology. Eyes without sparkle. Um, just look at this. This is a book about postpartum depression. See the face she's giving the child. This story's actually putting together our... I mean, this game's actually putting a good bit of story together. I'm impressed. I didn't expect it for the price. The company that made this game made one of my favorite MMOs, too. They made Secret World. Shut up, Nightbot. We're all broke right now. Don't like that. Hansel and Gretel, I think. I can't really make it out. It's really, really dark. Yeah, Hansel and Gretel. What? what what's happening? Alright. Yeah, what library doesn't have that? This is porn in Japan. The air seems to be showing some glisten of gas but there's fire right there don't like that either am I still even in a whoa okay that scared me huh Shit. He's got a little Cthulhu. That's another Lovecraft thing for you. What the hell is that? What? Lorraine, Lorraine, don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Yeah. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. Oh my God. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, she had the kid, her dad was overbearing, 
her baby daddy took off. Baby daddy got a new family, didn't want anything to do with her and Callum. She went into postpartum depression. She started taking medicine. Medicine wasn't working, it eventually got to her, and she murdered her son with an ice pick. Wow. That's a... That's a story that we just witnessed. Let me put this phone in there and I want to grab a cigarette and I'll fire up Doom. I know Doom probably won't scare you. I'll do you a favor and play something that isn't all that scary. But I did want to finish this game. It's only about a pot, that's like probably about two hours at the most if you take your time and look at everything. But pretty interesting story. Yeah, it, you're right. It's absolutely fucked up. <laughs> Give me one second. Oh, you heading out? Uh, thanks for joining the stream and witnessing that fucked up story with me. Glad you could come by. Whew. Talk about fucked up. That was a pretty good game though. 